7 a.m. Listen to this. But the work you do is never to be done in order to earn something. The work you're called to do is to be done in celebration of something. You don't work to earn God's favor. Rather, your work is a hymn of thanks for the favor that Christ achieved on your behalf. You don't have to wonder if you've worked enough. You don't have to fear that you'll mess up and get booted out of the family. You don't have to fear seeing the back of God's head. You don't have to be haunted by the question of whether you've done enough for long enough. The bridge of impossibility has been walked by Christ. The job is done. Your relationship with God is eternally secure. Now in thankfulness, go out and do His work. That is wonderful. It's raining. It smells wonderful. We had to pull on lights because it was dark. But we had quite a bit of garden work to do today. But I guess we're not doing it because it's wet. You can't go to the garden. That's the bell for breakfast. If it stops raining and the garden has a chance to dry, we'll do our work later. If not, tomorrow is another day. <laughs> I just got home from breakfast and I had contained things that need to be filled. So we were out of baking soda and peach gel. So I took my containers and filled it after breakfast. Whoa. See, I had a whole day of coming work planned because we had quite a bit of work to do, but now that it's raining, we're not doing anything, so I'm kind of at a loss. Not kind of at a loss, but it, it only goes to show how much we know and that things do not always go to plan. So it's thrown me for a little bit of a loop, but we'll figure it out. And I am definitely going to be changing out of this dress because it's a garden dress. And if we're not going in the garden today, there is no way I'm wearing it. Not a chance. Whoa, ow. I feel like I failed. 
yesterday at vlogging because it was a rainy day. It was a very mellow, low-key day. I did things around the house that needed my attention. So I felt like it was not too exciting, so I didn't record anything. We fall cleaned the kitchen basement today. I recorded as much as I could. We still have a lot of canning work to do, but on our colony, we always fall clean the kitchen basement after we're done canning corn because canning corn is sticky and messy. We still have all of our tomato canning work to do. Then there's a lot of freezing things like green onions, peppers, canning pumpkin, odds and ends, smaller jobs that need to be done. It is currently a little after 11 and after lunch we are going to pick cucumbers, string beans and corn and then we have no work tomorrow so we have a free day. Broccoli, cauliflower, corn, cucumbers, string beans those are the few that i can think of that we plant early we plant some that is early and then we plant some that is late so that we continuously have fresh vegetables available and it is very nice what do we have for lunch today i think we have an egg sandwich <laughs> And then we always have just scrambled eggs on the side if you're like me and um, don't want the bun. have arrived at our destination. <laughs> We just got back from the garden and we also gathered some watermelon and cantaloupe. Oh, this is actually um, the green one, the melon, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know how to call it because we usually only have the cantaloupes, the orange one. Let's taste this. It's a little pink. Some people like it like that. That's good. It's still a little crunchy, not sweet at all. If they're too sweet or too overripe, I don't like them. So honestly for me, this one being not quite ripe and not sweet at all, I like it this way. It has actually been a while since I've shown you the glads, gladiolas. And they're gorgeous. So, we'll see. I actually just finished chopping off the ones that were completely done blooming. I also removed or deadheaded a few. These were pretty, but as you can tell, these are already finished. I can't cut them. I mean, there's still two here and they're pretty. Oh, I also have a few orange ones. They were here and they were one of the first, so. I'm thinking they're done now. Oh, and these are 
the littles that you know if you saw the planting video you'll know what i'm talking about when i say the littles but i planted them in this pot this is how much they've grown this year i'm so proud of them and two have even gotten their own set of flowers and they're so pretty and i'm so proud of them one thing i have to do in fall when i remove them is i kind of want to build i guess you could say something like a fence about this high and then all the way around the pot because they keep falling over and then i am always attaching different types of strings to hold them in place otherwise they'd be falling completely over the pot so that's a project for fall these are my plants oh i love them this one here is coming over a little bit too far this yellow one Soul food. They're going up. Oh, it smells so good. It's absolutely beautiful. And it it's 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 a typical fall day. And I love fall. That's my favorite season. While we're here, I also want to check on the wildflowers. It's been a while since I've been here. But we also got rain, so I didn't need to water them. Um, they're kind of small. But I am thinking, well actually I'm hoping that they're putting all their energy into their root system. And next year they're going to be bigger. We'll see. This is only the first year, so I'm not worrying too much. This is one of my patches. Um, quite a few died on me, so the only ones I have right now are these few here. Kona just came from taking a bath from down in the river. The only place where she takes the only place where she takes a bath. Otherwise, she hates them. The second patch is right here. It's even marked. Hmm. Ah, you can't see it because they're so tiny, teeny tiny dots, purpled and white. Oh, you literally can't see. But anyway, it seems to be doing quite well. This one had the most flowers out of three. And then, if we go into the trail a bit, this is the third patch. This one has had very, very few flowers. There's just one here, but very small. So I'm thinking all of this here our flowers are my perennials and that maybe next year they'll flower more i'm not sure at this point i have no idea that's the update on the wildflowers a few of you were asking so i figured right right i want to update you i want to tell you these things i should there you go <laughs> there are trees starting to turn although there's very few that are turning not that many, but they are. They are. You know, I keep thinking, it feels like only yesterday when we were kayaking, but it's been months now. The water level does go down a lot. So there's only a certain time we can kayak, but still it feels like yesterday. It feels like yesterday that we had visitors and warm and although I love autumn, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite season. It's full of nostalgia. I mean, I had that, oh, it'll last forever feeling. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not last forever feeling, but it feels like it's going to last longer than it actually does. Oh, man, time moves so fast. Where does it go? It doesn't stand still for nobody, and where does it go? better in this life fresh squeezed orange juice it's like a creamsicle without all the added sugars and stuff we don't want
We have a free day today, free from garden community work. And I have a dress that I want to make, so I am taking this opportunity and I'm going to go make it. To be honest, I think all of us are taking this opportunity and going into our sewing rooms. Sorry about that, my camera was just about to die, so I had to go charge it. Um, I did, I did finish the skirt, but I have yet to cut out the bodice. After lunch, we're gonna cut out the bodice and I'm gonna sew it and maybe we might even finish it today. If we don't, we don't. It's not a big deal if I don't. If you're new, you might not know this. The building they're working on are new offices for our manufacturing business. I know it was a while ago since I've last given you an update, but since then they have had several evenings where they've done a work push to finish the offices. They usually work two, two and a half hours an evening. They don't do it every evening, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. Everybody pitching together to help finish, to help finish the offices.
Today is mom's birthday, so I'm going to be making her a dip, a chip dip. We have the ingredients right here. I just tasted it and it's deep fine. Now I'm gonna put it into a container, sprinkle it with extra cheese, and then we'll bake it later. I don't have a recipe for this, I just eyeballed everything. Um, just one brick cream cheese, sour cream, salt, pepper to taste, shredded cheese, green onions, peppers, water chestnuts, and it's everything to taste. Oh, isn't she a beaut? Okay, into the fridge she goes. I asked one of our ladies yesterday if she could send me a recipe, and she did. Her recipe says preheat oven to 400 degrees, bake for at least half an hour or until sides bubble. It's gonna be good. 